The Kremlin intends to send up to 400,000 contract soldiers to the war against Ukraine in 2023, Bloomberg reports, citing its sources. The publication claims that by doing so, the Kremlin expects to avoid announcing another wave of mobilization. Despite this, Russian telegram channels report that summonses continue to be handed out to men across the country, and covered mobilization continues. Experts are sure that the Kremlin will send to the front both mobilized and contract soldiers, as well as conscripts. Conscripts will still end up at the front, I'm more than sure. Earlier there was information that conscripts literally in two or three days were profiled into contract soldiers. With a slight movement of the hand, the conscript turned into a contract soldier. No one will say how you sent the conscript. No one signed contracts legally. There are contract soldiers, and this manipulation will work. The Russian military continues to complain about the provision. There is a lack of provisions, medicines and ammunition at the front. In the Magadan village of Palatka, school children collect panties, socks, stew and sugar. But provision is not the only problem of those who go to the front. The Russian military in telephone conversations intercepted by Ukrainian intelligence complain that the command treats them like cannon fodder. One mine, everybody is killed, bro. The kind that is there, mines meat and not war. From the interception by the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. The Russian Ministry of Defense is coming up with new ways to recruit the number of people they need into the army to replenish the losses. Summonses are now sent electronically. Experts are sure that the Ministry of Defense thus wants to get to those men who are hiding from mobilization and do not live by registration. Human rights activists also note that for those who do not want to go to war, electronic summonses are not binding. None of the representatives of the Ministry of Defense spoke specifically about how electronic summonses will be delivered. It is important to understand that email does not allow the sender to track whether the recipient received and read the letter. If the military registration and enlistment office cannot technically confirm that the summons was received by a citizen, then it is impossible to apply any sanctions to a person who does not come to the commission or to clarify data. Valentina Melnikova, executive secretary of the Union of Committees of Soldiers Mothers of Russia, in a command for Novaya Gazeta Europe. Military registration and enlistment officers continue to hand over summonses in the traditional way. To avoid this, you should not pick up a summons and come to the military registration and enlistment office, but there are other ways too. I want to remind those who do not want to go to war on mobilization. He also has the opportunity to refuse and on this basis declaring his anti-war convictions. This is a completely legal way. There will be no criminal prosecution for this, but this will also make it possible not to go to military service. The Ukrainian state project of the coordinating headquarters for the treatment of prisoners of war I want to leave is another resource that can help and provide guidance on how to avoid mobilization in Russia. If this was not possible, they will tell how to surrender in Ukraine. Applicants are guaranteed compliance with the Geneva Conventions. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Angelika Brushnevska, UATV News.